What's going on, people? It's JM, and you are tuned in to FTBDM, brought to you by Black Dragon House. First off, let me give a shout out to my fellow Millennial Xers and also the Millennials and Generation Z for quickly putting Pepsi in the check for this slightly offensive wannabe heal the world ass commercial, which turned out to be trash. We shouldn't give Pepsi any slack either. They've been around too goddamn long to not know that the recent protests are a sensitive ass subject, especially when people have continued and will continue to put their lives and livelihood in danger for what they believe. This is a big ass hell no, especially if they're trying to reach minority groups such as black, Latino, and Arabic men and women. And for you social media trolls out there, yes, those are considered minorities. Just a little lesson there. Now for a company that has eyes and ears on social media, it's obvious that they haven't done enough social listening. And this shit is pretty short-sighted. I had footage of the commercial about a few minutes ago, but since Pepsi and Fox want to be crybabies about it, of course they had the video taken down. But I'm sure if you look up the commercial online, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Hell, even go on Twitter is where I found it in the first place. The funny thing is, they're not attacking Twitter for anything, but when a small company talks big shit about a big corporation, I guess they can't handle it either. What's crazy is that Pepsi seems to trivialize Black Lives Matter by having Kylie Jenner front and center hand a cup of soft drink while a beautiful Muslim takes the perfect picture. Like this is supposed to end all of it, right? End all of the social injustice and all the social protests. People know good and goddamn well had it been a beautiful black woman doing this instead, the police would be out in full fucking riot gear, mean mugging her the whole time while attempting to tackle her to the ground to arrest her. Think that I'm wrong? Go ahead and just Google everything that's been going on with Black Lives Matter and black people, period, and then report back to this video and tell me that I'm wrong. Now, from a business point of view, I can see what they're trying to do. They want to promote unity, and I get it. I really do. And in a way, it's nice that you're trying, but your approach, well, speaking to Pepsi on this part, we're not buying it. You went about it the wrong way. So go ahead and go back to the drawing board and try it again. Now, what are y'all's thoughts on this? Did they go too far on this one? Will this cause a boycott of Pepsi products? Leave your comments below. Peace.